What's that? It sounds like a mob. People are gathering on the streets and marching. But where for? There's thousands of them. Where are you all going? We'll have to follow. Come on. Let's catch up with the front of the crowd. What is this place? It's New Parliament Square, mate. I can't get closer. I don't think you'd want to. You might get crushed. But everyone's protesting against the restrictions. I wonder what good it will do. Stay back or we will fire. Everyone get away. He's going to... Fire! Stop! No! It's a bloodbath. No, Robert, don't! Not here! We can't stand by and let this happen. We've got to get out of here, or we're next. I agree. Back to Quinton Technologies. Hurry! Robert! Alright, I'm coming. Let's go. Enter. Apologies, Prime Minister. George! Oh, please do come in. Thank you. And it's Rachel. No need for pleasantries. Uh, sorry, force of habit. How was it? As we expected. Oh, they hate us, don't they? They don't like the control. The general public don't understand what the plan is. Oh, I know. And we certainly can't tell them. Otherwise, it will never work. How many dead? Several. How many? Fifty. It's too early to say. Rachel? I need a drink. Brandy all right? It's strong enough, thanks. What is going on out there? I'm afraid I don't know. Panic, madness and violence. Oh, they all sound like the same thing these days. Nothing much has changed since day one. Oh, George. You seem a bit frazzled. Are you okay? Yes, yes. I I'm fine. George, I know that face. What's going on? I saw some old friends in the crowd. I haven't seen them since... since... Day one? Yes. Have you ever spoken about that day? George? I don't speak of it, no. <sighs> Look, I... I hope you don't take offence, but... I looked up your family records and... I'm, I'm, I'm truly sorry. It's fine. What happened? I, f I feel like we're friends, George. I understand if you don't want to tell me. No, no. It, it's all right. I, I too consider us friends. I don't want secrets between us. I was... I was with those friends outside a flat in Moulton. We, we had met the people who took down the grid system at Quinton Technologies. I felt that they had come to gloat. The terrorists showed up? I think they were confused. Their, their feeling was that they had stopped Quinton. But I tried to stop them. I wasn't listened to. See, you're all good, mate. I just can't. George. I am calm, Lily. I, I promise. You're not. I, I, I don't know what's happened to my, my mother, my father, my brothers. I can't relax until I, I know if they're all right. Wait, they'll be out soon and we'll be right there. I'm not taking them to my family. Well, what's that supposed to mean? You and I are the only good ones here, Lily. Those lot, they'll be the end of us. They tried to tear down Quinton Technologies, and they succeeded. You can't seriously still be defending Quinton? 
He destroyed the world. No, these people did. They messed with something that they had no understanding of. I'm sorry, Lily. I'm leaving. You can choose to stay with them or, or come with me. We'll be heading off shortly. Don't bother. George! Where's he going? My oldest friend, Lily. She tried to convince me that these people were good, but I didn't believe her. I wanted to know what happened to my family. So I ran. What happened next? Nothing was working. Cars, buses and trains were out. So I ran to where my parents lived. It wasn't far. I... I... I made it. You found them. My brother had gone over for a long weekend. I was going to join them after work. At least they were together. They didn't have each other, Rachel. They suffocated together. The last one had to watch their family die before dying themselves. If I had been there, if I just got the day off work, there was, there was no time. I should have made time. Oh. How were you to know? I wasn't. But I, I realised we can't take this time for granted. How long was it before you made your group? A week. Where did you go? Lily? Lily? She's gone. They've all gone. They've left me. She didn't wait for me. She didn't even follow. She is just like them. I returned to my parents, and I slept at their house for the week. I tidied up the place. I gave my family a proper funeral. I buried them in the garden. The neighbors stood over the fences too, and they paid their respects. They became my new friends. Three weeks later, that's when the carriages and body collectors arrived. Mark, what's going on? They're here for the bodies. They've left it a bit late. Were they afraid of the smell? Who knows? They say something different every day on the radio. First, it's a lockdown. Then any contagion is benign. And now they're clearing up the bodies. The uncounted ones, anyway. George, they wouldn't dare take your family. It'd be sickening if they even tried. Names? George Regan. And you? Mark Goddard. I live next door. Uh, do you have any bodies inside of the house? No. Hmm, I understand that this house belongs to James and Claire Regan. Can I speak with them? They, um... Uh, they didn't make it. Uh, mate, listen, is this really all necessary? I thought you were collecting bodies out there. All victims of the cataclysm must be accounted for. You have your answers. Move on. We must collect the bodies. Why? The Prime Minister has said why on the radio. No, she hasn't. It's a different story every day. Where are the bodies of your parents, Mr. Regan? Laid to rest. 
We will need the bodies. Are you being serious right now? It's the law. Fuck the law. It's basic human rights. That applies to the person even after death. You will comply, Mr. Reed. No. No, I will not. You want to go into my house, my property, and dig up my family members? And for what? What sick experiments are you doing on these people? They are not people, they are corpses. How dare you? Their bodies and souls are laid to rest. Everyone, the government are trying to take our loved ones away from us. Don't do this. Get out. Get out of this neighborhood. And any neighborhood for that matter. You are not welcome here. You fought the system. That's how we noticed you. It was wrong. You see that now. I do. But it was necessary at the time. We needed to know if there was a contagion. You could have asked me. If it wasn't for you, we'd still be taking the bodies in the masses. Are there still bodies unaccounted for? Hundreds of thousands. Mostly tourists. Displaced in the world. Oh, it hurts. You know? Yes. I understand. What are you going to do? They will not have my family. Everyone should have the right to choose what happens to their loved ones. Definitely. But what can we do exactly? We're just people. Everybody has a voice, Mark. We just need to use ours collectively. Where are you going? To the streets. There are still people out there, guarding in their own ways. You really think you can make a difference? Yes. If I'm wrong, we can try. We spent the next few weeks building a group. A neighborhood watch would probably be the right name for it. But it was so much more. And we did make a difference. Night watch is tough, isn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, worth it. <laughs> How do you keep that optimism all the time? Don't you ever have off days? Sleep this night? I just don't want to let my guard down, Mark. I won't sound like a broken record and say that if people on the streets look to one another for support. But I also care about my family too. I don't want their basic human rights mistreated, even if they have died. I hear you there, mate. Cold night. It'll only get colder, Mark. Winter is on its way. We'll have to sort out heating for the people. There's nowhere for heating. We'll have to try and find alternatives. Oh, there's one. You all right there? Just making my way through. This street is guarded. You'll need an escort. Yeah. Sure, whatever. Alright. Back in a minute. See you shortly. We can make a difference. We have done well to ward off anybody who wants to take charge of us. We've shown the government, the streets gangs, and even the lone tugs that we will not take this any longer. Tonight is another patrol like any other night, one that we will hold strong. I'm really happy about this, George. I don't think I say it enough. You say it too much, Mark. Did you notice that man pull up? Of course I did, but I didn't want to make a scene. Here he comes. Mr. Regan, Mr. Goddard, I'm very impressed with your speech. Thank you. And you are? I work on behalf of the Prime Minister. That doesn't answer my question. What are you doing here? I wanted to discuss a business proposal with you. What about? It is best if we discuss this in private. Will you come with me? Do we have a choice? Of course you do. This country is still a democracy after all. I wouldn't put it like that. We will go with you. What? Think about it, Mark. 
Sounds like the Prime Minister wants to see us. I will need to blindfold you both. Hang on, that wasn't mentioned before. Blindfolds on. Ah, this is an ambush. Get off me. <laughs> this is an ambush. That's what you said. Remove this blindfold. Very well. What is this? What's going on? Please, Mr. Regan, we chose not to tie you up as a matter of showing our willingness to talk. Please don't make my guards use force. George, just sit. There's no way we're getting out of this on our own terms. We mean you no harm, I can assure you. George. Very well. Thank you. Now, we are interested by the two of you. You have both formed quite a pact in your little street. It might be little to someone like you, but not to us. Yes, of course, but we are looking for assistance. You both seem to be the right people to help us rebuild our world. Assistance? If this was just that, then... Wait. Rebuild the world? Who are you people? My name is Benjamin Wood. I am the Deputy Prime Minister. There were better ways of getting in contact. Wait, Deputy, what? We didn't have a Deputy Prime Minister before all of this. It's complicated, but we couldn't risk any undue attention. You've not got your gravediggers working around the street, have you? Not at all, Mr. Regan. We heard you both and we've agreed to step back and allow the family space to grieve. And to have ownership over their loved one's remains. Your choice to bury your family was your own. We cannot take that choice away from you. Sounds like political PR to me. Nonetheless, you have achieved your demands. Now we need your help. To rebuild the world? Yes. And how exactly would we go about doing that? That is something the Prime Minister wishes to discuss with you more in detail. The Prime Minister? Is she here? No, she wished she could be, but that is why I am here, to give you a choice. What choice? To take up the offer, work with the government to rebuild the world. Or you can remain in your community, helping the people to survive. It's up to you. I see. I will have you return to your street, and I'll give you 24 hours to think about it. Another night shift, eh, Mark? Another one? Or could it be our last? You want to go with them, don't you? To make a difference, yes. And your house? I assume you'll be moving. Never. I'll be here. I'm not leaving you all completely. But you'll still be leaving. I can't do this alone. Everyone here knows that you and I work together. This is an opportunity to help those not just in this street or in the nearby ones, but the whole country, Mark. Do you see what I mean? I do. I can't guarantee that everyone else will. In time, they will understand. How sure are you on that? And how sure were you? Quite sure. And the reality? I still help on the weekends where I can. I said things about them that they don't quite agree. And your friend, Mark? We're still leading them. We catch up. I give him support where I can. That's good. <laughs> I remember how our first conversation went. I thought I was nervous. <laughs> you were very nervous. But we had the same ideals. And here you are now. You're my civil defence minister. Thus completing the story. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling better? A bit. Things will get better, George. This curfew. This is going to turn my own friends against me. But it's necessary to stop those thugs from treating the streets like it's their own playground. Yes, of course. Thank you again, Rachel, for 
for this position. You are a remarkable and clever man, George. It's the least I could do. Now take the rest of the day off. It sounds like you've missed your friends. It might be nice to say a proper hello to them. Exactly. I'll get a car to come round for you. Mark, how are you? Could be better. You're home early. It's a stressful time, my friend. You know, George, people didn't appreciate that radio broadcast earlier. The news has spread of a mass shooting. You're associated with it. I was just doing my job. I was making an announcement. People here are already thinking you were changing. After today, there's no going back. Mark, I've done my best to stay involved with this community. Rosie's mom got taken the other day. What? Despite Rosie burying her mom, they came and took her. Couldn't stop them alone. That's... that's not right. That shouldn't... It's that new paperwork that was introduced. All those ID checks. Apparently Rosie didn't have ownership rights over her mother's body. George, how do you explain that? I, I... I don't know. There must be a glitch in the system. A glitch in the system? George, this isn't a computer glitch. This is human error. Of course, of course. Are you saying the government has access to electricity again? No, it, it was just a slip of the tongue. George, tell me seriously right now, the truth. Because if you're lying, it won't just be this whole street, it'll be the whole country who will be over you. Three months into this new world, and we'll still be living without electricity in the cold. No, no Mark, no, I, I'm telling the truth, I promise. Promise? I promise, Mark. I'll get the mistake sorted with Rosie's mum, I will. It's funny how they came for her mum, and not for your family, isn't it? One rule for us, one rule for your lot. I'm sorry, Mark. I don't forget what it used to be like, George. We used to do well, you and I. Now look at what you've become. Oh God, what, what have I done? Now it's just a matter of activating and going, right? Exactly. Jesse, I... Please don't. Jesse, please. What? Please forgive me. I can't. Please. We'll never see each other again. I can't forgive you because I can't forgive Jason or myself. I let Leo and Jason go on that trip. But it's not your fault. It's Jason's. He wanted to leave in the first place. He got his wish. Then I guess this is goodbye. I'll need to bring this with me. To close the breach on the other side. Sure. Go ahead. Goodbye. Oh! Jesse, no! Goodbye, Noah! Come back! You can't! Jesse, get back here! 